I like to start my day with apple cider vinegar. Um, I do this because it has many benefits. It detoxifies the body, lowers blood pressure, fights cancer, regulates your pH level, uh, balances blood sugar, and many, many other things. So what I do is I go ahead and I um, pour two tablespoons of it, one tablespoon of honey. Um, I squeeze the juice of one lemon. So the honey that I add to it is raw, um, so it's normal for it to like crystallize like that. So I add a little bit of hot water um, to help like dissolve it and then I pour um, a glass full of water and then just go ahead and mix it. Um, it is recommended that you drink this first thing in the morning to just kind of get your organs going. So next I go ahead and I make some oatmeal for breakfast. Um, Oatmeal has like a ton of other benefits too. So I go ahead and I heat up um, about a cup of almond with coconut milk. Um, so some of the benefits that oatmeal has, it has like a ton of fiber, protein, stabilizes your blood sugar, uh, lowers bad cholesterol and high blood pressure, has a ton of vitamins, irons, minerals, and like antioxidants. Um, it pretty much keeps me really full um, all morning. I think it's a great way to start your your morning. Um, I like to add cinnamon to about like a tablespoon of cinnamon. Um, so you just go ahead and um, add it in while it is cooking. Um, I also like to add about a tablespoon of coconut sugar just to make it sweet. So you can pretty much add whatever toppings you want. Um, that's what it's gonna look like. It's just gonna kind of puff up once it's like nice and cooked. Um, I love the combination of peaches and blueberries right now. Um, something I forgot to show that I do is I also add a scoop of the collagen powder by U Theory. I'm gonna go ahead and make another video of all the supplements that I take. Um, so I just went ahead and I sprinkled some coconut flakes and some chia seeds. Um, chia seeds have a ton of other be health benefits too and they pretty much have no taste so it's just kind of more of like a texture. So after um, like about two hours after I eat my oatmeal I go ahead and I make a green smoothie. Um, so I go ahead and I do like half of the cup of like just green so I did spinach, kale, and celery. Spinach and kale are both super foods so they're basically packed with a bunch of like vitamins and minerals and stuff and then I added um, some apple and some mango not a lot just kind of enough to make it to give it like a good sweet taste I also added some hemp seeds and those are really rich in omegas uh, vitamins minerals also have protein and they're an anti-inflammatory um, you can do either coconut water or regular water I love coconut water that also has a bunch of other like minerals and stuff so uh, once I add the coconut water I just go ahead and mix it drink it it's real this actual one is like super good. Um, for lunch, I usually do a salad. So I like to buy salads in a bag because they're like so convenient. It comes with everything in there. So there's like the vinaigrette and then um, that one came with sunflower seeds and dried cranberries. This one had kale, Brussels sprouts, spinach. It basically contained seven superfoods. Um, also had cabbage. It, it was so delicious. Um, I also added some mushrooms because mushrooms also have a ton of other vitamins um, and it, I just love mushrooms. They taste really good. Um, so just pretty much add whatever you want to it. You can also add like, I don't know, like my husband was saying that chicken would be really good with it. So you can add your chicken if you want to um, and they're pretty affordable. It's about like two something for a bag um, and that's like two servings worth I believe. So for dinner, I made an all bean soup. Um, this pretty much had every bean you can think of with lentils too. Um, so what I did is I sauteed some onion and some garlic. Um, my grandma always said that whenever you add onion and garlic, like your food is bound to taste good. So <laughs> that's what I do. Um, so beans have a ton of benefits. They're really rich in protein, fiber, and iron. Um, they contain antioxidants, they have vitamins and minerals, they protect against cancer, and they improve your heart health. Um, this soup was like so good. I cooked it for I believe two hours and a half. Um, and 
Yeah, you, it's, it's really easy. You just basically just like stir it around, add your water, um, let it sit, and it's just going to pretty much do its thing. Um, I forgot to show you guys, but I also chopped up some kale, and I just added some kale to it, um, and some salt. So I use Himalayan salt, and that's all I added. But it was really good, um, really hearty. And on the side, I went ahead and I made like a vegan option of carne apache. I have a carne apache video on my channel if you guys are interested in watching that. So this is all I used. Um, I used cauliflower to substitute um, the meat. So it was just um, cabbage, onion, radish, and tomatoes, and um, two limes. So you basically just chop everything up, just combine it all in a bowl. This is a great way to consume your veggies raw. Um, they're, all these vegetables are really rich in vitamins and minerals too. Um, it's so good and so like fresh. It kind of tastes like like a vegan maybe ceviche because it contains a lot of the like similar ingredients. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and just mix that around. I usually add cilantro too, but I didn't have any in hand. Um, so after you've mixed everything, you're gonna go ahead and squeeze the juice of your limes. And then I went ahead and I added some Himalayan salt. Um, and then once again, just mix it all around. You wanna make sure that you kinda just like evenly proportion everything because you want to get a bite of like everything, you know? And that is what that looks like. I hope you guys try it. So I went ahead and I added some cotija cheese on top of my bean soup. Um, if you're vegan, you can opt out for that. And then I added some tapatio to my slaw. If you guys want to see more videos like this, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.